Greetings from South China. I'm Mike Bellamy, founder of the Passage Maker Group of Companies and guest lecturer over at the China Sourcing Academy. I've been living in Asia pretty much full time since 1993, and today I'd like to share with you some of the lessons I learned over the years. Earlier videos talked about how to find and evaluate suppliers. Now let's get into how to negotiate a good price. Now, different industries have different margins, and even within the industry, some suppliers quote high, some quote low, some have fixed pricing. So I'm sorry to say, there is no set formula like, if I say 100, they say 50, and we split the difference. There isn't a set formula. In the USA, for example, we tend to think of negotiations as a sport um, with a set of rules and protocols, like two gladiators sitting in the negotiation table and one negotiator is going to out-negotiate the other through superior ninjutsu and get the better price. But in China, the rules of negotiation are totally different. There's no fixed time when the negotiation takes place or ends. In short, there are a whole set of Chinese negotiation tactics which are beyond the scope of this video and certainly outside the skill set of the average foreign buyer, including myself to some extent. Now, my Chinese father-in-law likes to remind me that the Chinese have been negotiating with each other for thousands of years of continuous history, and it's not like this American is just going to walk into the room and not negotiate the Chinese. He's right, actually. You know, even if I can't beat them at their own game, I still do have the ability to out-research them. And this brings us to the most important weapon in your supplier negotiation arsenal, research. Most of my negotiations only take a few minutes, but my research may have taken weeks or months. My typical negotiation goes like this. Mr. Lee, it has been a pleasure to get to know you and your company. I'm impressed with the quality systems and the strong reputation your firm has. However, my coworkers on the sourcing team are required to get multiple quotations from multiple suppliers. My staff has found a factory of similar size to yours with similar quality and exact lead times in the next province over and their price is 8% lower than yours. We would prefer to do business with you, Mr. Lee, if you could match their offer. It basically comes down to a diplomatically delivered take it or leave it. If my research is accurate about the options, for example, I really know that the other supplier's price is 8% lower than Mr. Lee, then Mr. Lee will know that I know what he knows in terms of what is going on for a given product, given price in China. And Mr. Lee will be more than likely to come down on his price because he knows that I know what he knows. However, because suppliers have a very good sense of what the pro going price is for a given product in China, they may even personally know the other factories. So never try to bluff or, or make up some kind of fictitious second supplier with prices made out of thin air. If Mr. Lee senses that you don't know what's going on for a given price on a given product in China, you'll find that he'll out-negotiate you every time. On that note, as always, I sign off wishing you successful sourcing in China. And if you found the information in this video useful, consider returning the favor, please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and post some comments. Or check out my blogs and monthly newsletter. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via LinkedIn, or find me at the China Sourcing Academy, or just visit some of my company websites and hit the Contact Us page.